Okay, welcome back to our next video on um, our 1047-4. So 10 minutes, 47 days, four Gospels, beginning February 17th all the way uh, to April 4th, where we're hoping you'll listen, watch, and meet. And so uh, we wanted to focus today on the groups. So it's not just about listing 10 minutes a day, although that's great, um, even if that's all you do. If you listen 10 minutes a day and you go through all the Gospels through the schedule, that, that'd be wonderful. But we also want you to participate uh, through the questions that we give you with the participant book that Christy has made for us. So there'll be questions for you uh, that you could answer just in your own, for your own little journal uh, that nobody else is going to see. It's just going to be um, you as you reflect upon what you listened uh, to that day and thinking about your own life. But uh, in addition to that, uh, we're hoping you'll participate even further uh, with community. So your listening experience and your viewing experience, will um, uh, you'll, you'll engage all of that. Um, you'll, you'll engage from what you've heard and what you've seen uh, with the group. And so we're asking folks to participate in groups. These groups are going to meet on Wednesday nights. That's the goal. That's the hope. Anyway, that you don't have to. Uh, we're just hoping you'll do that. So in a group meeting, um, you know, we're hoping for eight, ten people, something like that. Uh, and you can do it either in person uh, if you're comfortable with that. Or you can do it uh, by Zoom. Um, or, uh, or you could do a hybrid of, uh, of either one of those two. Uh, but it would probably be easier if you did it all in person or you did it all in Zoom, probably. And so we need to know um, if you want to be a participant uh, and or if you would like to be a leader. And then uh, you guys on Wednesday nights uh, can have your uh, group meeting. Now, the group meeting, um, prior to your meeting together, via like, for example, Zoom, is going to be a viewing experience. And so this is where uh, Matt's going to talk to us about this. Yeah, so all this information will be in your participant guide, the stuff I'm about to share. This will be in your participant guide, but I just wanted to give it to you um, here so you understood and maybe got a preview for, your, for yourself, um, see if you'd maybe be interested in it. So what you have here is the questions that will be asked uh, that are involved in a participant guide in your small groups. Just five very simple questions. It says, what stood out from today's viewing? How would you summarize these events in a sentence or two? It's pretty simple. The idea in these groups, you would um, watch the video either uh, during your group or before your group, and you would discuss these questions together, right? Low pressure. You know, you don't have to uh, recreate a book and be an uber theologian in order to work through these questions and through the text. So the information you need, if you want a little preview of, of the content of what we're using, you would go to this website right here. It says 1kc.bible slash watching dash groups. Um, I know that's a handful. Um, I will put that link into the description of this video. So you, all you have to do is just open the description up and you know, hit click. Um, it'll be right there for you. What's on this page is actually this right here. So it has a schedule for the watching groups, like what you will watch that week um, for each of these six weeks. It has a, a little summary of these discussion questions, but it also has the videos that you will be watching. And I'll let uh, Mike talk about those in a second. So this is simple enough. These are um, six different playlists um, that go through all throughout the Gospel of Mark. So you watch six different vi videos. Like the first one is Mark 1 through 3. Um, and these are really awesome videos that you'd watch and reflect on um, with your participation guide in your groups. So, and these are in Spanish, so you, you ignore those, obviously. So these are the ones that are in English, right? Yeah, so simple enough is what you do. So this is what we're going to do with the youth. Um, on Wednesday night, we're going to get together, we're going to do some music, and then we're going to watch this first video starting the 17th. And then everybody's going to sit there in front of a projector and on a TV watching this video um, and they'll have their little notebook open and they'll be writing the question, uh, possibly either waiting until the end or writing the answers down to the yeah, questions. I, yeah, question. I would suggest that you wait to the end to answer the questions and we'll have the list of the events to, yep. to make, help you recall 
what was in the video. And go, oh, yeah, I remember that. You know, you look at that, and then you can have thoughts about it. So, so the simple thing would be as you watch these videos, I think these are excellently made uh, in a way that uh, makes you uh, feel like you're in the text almost. Um, so the hope would be is that this, not only does the listening have an impact on you, um, but the visual aspect of it has an impact on you. This is what your small groups will revolve around. So think of, if you're a small group, if you want to be a small group leader, it's low, low, low expectations and low pressure. Um, you don't have to prep a lesson. You don't have to know all this material. It might be beneficial for you to watch the video beforehand, but... Um, all you're going to do is watch the video with your group and go through those reflection questions. Well, well actually, you're going to watch the video before your group meeting. If you are meeting on Zoom. Yeah, or if you're meeting if, on Zoom, right. If you're meeting in person, then you do it together. Yeah, you do it together. But if you're meeting in Zoom, then 30 minutes before your meeting, you're going to want to watch the video, and that'll give you about 10 minutes to reflect on your questions. Then you can get right into the Zoom meeting, which is only going to be about 40 minutes long. Yeah, so unless you have a paid account with Zoom, which some people do, a paid account with Zoom, you're limited to 40 minutes for a group of three or larger. Um, so it would not be beneficial for you to watch that um, video in the Zoom meeting, like sharing your screen. You probably yeah. want to watch it beforehand. Yeah. So what are you going to do in the Zoom meeting? Well, that's where you can talk and go, you know, I saw, I remember when he did, you know, like I did with the tax collector. Gosh, and it just kind of really struck me and I made me think about this. That, that's what you're doing. So we'd like you to prayerfully consider um, participating, and I, I, we'd like you to prayerfully consider even maybe leading a group, um, finding fr family, friends who might not even go to this church, um, that might live some other place um, that you could do this together with. Yeah, and we're only talking about, what, six group meetings, six group meetings. So we're talking about 10 minutes a day, uh, listening to the Bible, six different group meetings, and you'll be able to go through the all four Gospels. But we're going to focus on Mark, and of course my sermons every Sunday during this time are going to be on a selected passage from Mark as we work all that together.